Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I showed you as to how we can go ahead and gather information using Nmap if you are in the, on the same gateway. And if you are not on the same gateway, then you can go ahead and use the DNS and the Whois uh, methods to gather the IP addresses of any specific person. As so of now, I am assuming you are on the same gateway and you have the IP address uh, the same way I told you last time. So now I want uh, the operating system information about this specific IP address. So what I would do, I would go ahead and um, uh, use my Zen map. I'll type the IP address over here, 0.168.236.131. And as you can see, there are different types of scan over here. If you go down, if the operating system uh, you are trying to get, uh, get access to is uh, uh, related to a company, it has, it's a big company and you're trying to get information about that. Then I won't suggest intense scan or intense uh, neither of these things. I would not suggest that. I'll just go ahead and ask you to do a regular scan or a slow and comprehensive scan so that you don't get detected. But I'll be doing you all of these scans and I'll show you what is the difference between them and the different hops between them as to how we can go ahead and connect them. How many between routers were there in between so that in through which I need to uh, go through to go ahead uh, and get information about that. So I'll just do intense scan. Uh, it is doing a sin uh, stealth scan. So these are the open ports as you can see of this particular PC and of my and I can go ahead and use any of this port to go ahead and uh, transfer my any Trojan or any virus that I have and uh, it will not get detected. It will just uh, take it, uh, check it as a normal traffic. Uh, as you can see for service and one host it's trying to go ahead and try OS detection. can take quite a bit of time sometimes perfect done perfect so these were the ports open and it started scanning for the OSS so there are a total of 996 filtered ports and filtered means these are firewall ports you won't be able to enter these ports but these are the ports which are open out of these 996, uh, excluding these 996, these are uh, four ports which are open through which you can go ahead and access them. That's Windows, Microsoft, RPC and Windows HTTP API. And these are the two NetBIOS SSN. But if you're using Windows 8, let me suggest you that these would be all filtered out and there will not be any port open if you have an updated version of Windows 8.1. But still, there can be ways you can social engineer your way through that. Uh, as you can see, the MAC address is of VMware. It's specifically showing that. If you don't know uh, which company's MAC address this is, you can just copy it over here. And if it is related to a specific PC, then you can go over the internet and you can check. MAC address. And yes, you can go ahead and check it over here. You can find the company lookup and you can just type the IP address. Probably it will not be able to find. Uh, yeah. It's perfect. That means anything starting with 00, uh, 0C29 uh, is a half VMware. If I go ahead and check it over here, okay, uh, I need to go down through system. And over here, I can see. So this will give you an idea of which hardware is the person using exactly. Uh, I, I'm getting VMware over here, but if uh, since I'm using a virtual PC, but if the person has an actual ha hardware, which is not a VMware, which is an actual computer, then you will get uh, the detailed information. So let me just check the Mac ID and I'll go ahead and copy this Mac ID over here that we have and I will paste it over here in this portion. So what I would do, I'll just uh, cancel, I'll just go open over here and I'll check, I need to go ahead and check the MAC ID. So I believe we have the MAC ID over here. Okay, mm IPv6 address, perfect, we have the MAC ID. So I'll just type it over here, FC-AA-AA. 
hyphen one four hyphen forty five and five e hyphen sixty four and let's check what we get perfect it has a gigabyte technology and company limited so uh, if you want much info more information you can just go ahead and compare it and you can check it over here and you will be able to confirm it exactly it is since this is a gigabyte technology you can see the my system manufactures gigabyte, gigabyte technology co company limited so in this way you can get the uh, you can go ahead and at least uh, narrow your down your hardware area as to which exactly it is using and where well, you have the hardware right now now you need to go uh, know which operating system is the person using so you don't need to go ahead and gather much information about that but because you already have that once you do nmap scanning it will show you that it's general purpose for phone or a normal system and uh, but you know it's not a phone since it has gigabyte technology that means it's a computer and it's not a virtual pc and you can see it has windows version 8 or phone or vista or 7 it can be either of these but since it's using uh, gigabyte technology it cannot be phone or vista because no one uses vista as of now yes frankly so it will be a windows 2008 uh, server or a windows 7 so but uh, over here again these are the things as you can see but again it has uh, narrowed it down a bit more and it can be windows 2000 and r2 or windows phone which is not uh, so i'll just cancel these things out this is out and we have uh, it so it can be windows server sp uh, pack 1 or windows 7 or any of versions and this uh, operating system was last uh, started on may 13 that's today at 2 30 uh, pm in the afternoon so you have the date since uh, how much time it is up and it's uh, just one hop that means uh, there's only there are no computers in between these are connected uh, directly if i'm connecting it through internet then there will be multiple computers through all the routes through which i'm going and uh, it will show me through the fish eye as to where exactly my computer is by connecting it to several computers and as you can see we have the tcp sequence prediction that is 263 that means we can easily go ahead and penetrate into that again operating system is uh, windows and we have all the information that we need so the computer name was test user since